Well, if you're looking for a spot to picnic, to take a walk, or maybe just to breathe, you may find this place at Pope Farm Conservancy. It spans more than 100 acres of land and offers visitors a sight that uh, they may not otherwise see. Mary Jo Ola is in Middleton with more. Good morning, Dean. And like we said earlier, the forecast looks great for this weekend and might be the best time to check out the famous sunflowers here at Pope Farm Conservancy. Well, here with me this morning to tell us more about what you can expect is Mel Pope. He is a volunteer and also the chair of Friends of Pope Farm Conservancy. Mel, thanks for being with us. Well, thank you. All right, so I'm sure you've gotten a lot of questions from folks asking about the sunflowers. How are they faring this year? Well, they're different this year because we've had a lot of uh, rainfall. Uh, overcast skies, cooler temperatures, and so that has had an effect on the sunflowers. We have kind of a rolling bloom this year where some will bloom and then some will die and some will bloom. So it's very, it's called farming. It's very, very different from year to year. However, the uh, six prairies that we have out here are in fantastic shape. We've never seen them, seen them as well as, uh, look as well as they are today. So uh, people should come out and take a look at the prairies too. And, you know, like we were talking earlier, the sunflowers are very different this year compared to last year. What goes into maintaining it, farming it, and uh, taking care of them? Well, a lot. But the weather, of course, plays the biggest role. And, and we've had, uh, in June, a record rainfall, cool weather, overcast skies. So the corn is great, but the sunflowers and the soybeans are a little bit behind. And that's what you see here. But they're still very beautiful. beautiful. Very beautiful, you bet. And other than the sunflowers, you guys have a lot going on here at Poe Farm Conservancy. It's over 100 acres. What else will people see out here? Well, we have three different uh, watersheds, three different recessional moraines. We have a civilian conservation corps spillway. We have a German immigration site. We have six different prairies, seven different crops. So there's a lot to see and a lot to do. And. Just on that note, you do have the annual tour coming up, so that's a great way to come check everything out. We do. We do. Next Wednesday at 6 o'clock is the annual tour. We'll look at the history of Poe Farm Conservancy, what it is, uh, what went into it, and what it uh, represents today. And we'll do all those prairies and all of those uh, features in one tour. So we hope everybody comes out. Well, last year it was a pretty big success too, huh? Yeah, it was. We, we had uh, well over 150, 160 people out here, and we made it through. Not, <laughs> not a lot of questions being answered, but we did make it through the entire uh, conservancy in one evening. Well, I'm sure a lot of picture taking, oh, yeah. too. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of picture taking, too. Right. Mel, thank you so much for being with us here this morning. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. Well, the annual tour for Pope Farm Conservancy is next Wednesday, August 13th from 6 to 730. It is a free walking tour. So if you're interested, definitely come on down there at 7440 West Old Sock Road in Middleton. And of course, you can head to channel3000.com slash links for more detailed information there on Pope Farm Conservancy. So Dina, we'll send it back to you and check back during the six o'clock hour. Yeah, you know, those are just gorgeous. Yes, no, very much. Yeah, yeah, really nice. I'm going to, I hope to get out there this weekend and check it out, Mary Jo. And we'll talk to you in yeah. a little bit. Thanks a lot. The sunflowers at Pope Farm Conservancy are a sight to see, but there's more to the park than you may know. Mary Jo is in Middleton learning the story behind the popular spot. Good morning, Dino. We're back here at Pope Farm Conservancy where there is a lot more to see than the sunflowers like you just said. And here to tell us more about the Conservancy is Mel Pope. He is a volunteer and also the chair of the Friends of Pope Park Conservancy. Mel, thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, so I know a lot of people talk about the sunflowers, but you have 105 acres here. What else does Pope Farm have? Well, we have seven or eight miles of walking trails. We have uh, them groomed in the uh, wintertime. The Conservancy is owned by the town of Middleton and they do a great job out here. We have six different prairie restoration projects, seven different crops. We have a uh, CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps Spillway. We have a Native American uh, garden site that replicates a garden from a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Three different watersheds, and I could go on and on and on. <laughs> but it's really targeted toward uh, education, and we have over 40 interpretive signs to show you what's going on along the way. And then this is actually your family farm too as well and there's a lot of history here can you tell us just a little bit of the background and some of the historical pieces that you might see if you come out 
Well, uh, the Pope family did not want this land uh, developed. It's just too beautiful. We have a 360-degree panoramic view of Lake Mendota, the Black Earth Creek watershed. And uh, so we worked us out a situation with the town of Middleton, and uh, it's the best thing that we ever did, and I think the town is very, very happy as well. And it will be preserved forever, and that's what we wanted, and uh, the town is doing a very, very good job. And one of the interesting parts, I think, that when people see here is this stone wall uh, just next to us here. What is the stone wall? Where did it come from? Well, the glacier came down uh, 15,000, 20,000 years ago, and it just left all the debris. We're right in the heart of the glacial debris. And so when the settlers got here, there's nothing that they could do. Uh, they couldn't plant anything until they got the rocks out of the way. So this stone fence was built in the 1840s, 1850s. It's about 1,200 feet long. And it really was a boundary between two farms as they got the rocks out of the field so that they could, uh, they could plow. And with, uh, you know, with your background growing up on this farm, I mean, this must look so different than when you first grew up here. Oh, it does. You know, of course, we had sheep and we had beef cattle, and it was a lot of hard work, and now it's just a pleasure to relax and see all the beauty of the prairies and uh, all the things that are going on here. Well, it definitely is beautiful. Mel, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, well, if you are interested in checking out Pope Farm Conservancy, they do have an annual tour coming up next Wednesday, August 13th. It is a free walking tour from 6 to 7.30. That information right there on your screen, or you can also head to channel3000.com slash links for, to find it there as well. So, Dina, mm -hmm. we'll send it back to you, but in the meantime, we'll take in the scenery here. Oh, yes, this absolutely Friday gorgeous morning. scenery. I have a, one question, though. So what happens after the tour, and, uh, I mean, do they do they just die? Do they let, let folks pick the sunflowers? What happens to the sunflowers after the tour? Um, after the tour, this, well, the tour actually covers the entire conservancy so they'll be walking uh, not just past the sunflowers but also through the prairies and such but once that's done and the sunflowers have died off they're harvested and they'll keep the the seeds for the birds and for a crop and I think you had about 10,000 cones of sunflowers last year 8,000 yeah. we, we had uh, 8,000 pounds of sunflowers that we harvested but the birds got 4,000 pounds <laughs> before we got it out wow. of the field so huh. they had a lot to eat last year yeah yeah, good grub for the birds. Thanks a lot. Well, if you're looking for the perfect spot to hang out this weekend, maybe grab the kids and go and check out the Pope Farm Conservancy. It's a picture-perfect landscape for all to see and beautiful, gorgeous sunflowers. Mary Jo Ola is in Middleton with more. Good morning again, Dina. We're back here at Pope Farm Conservancy, where a lot of folks have been waiting to check out the famous sunflowers. Here with us this morning is Mel Pope. He is a volunteer and the chair of Friends of Pope Farm Conservancy. Mel, thanks for being with us here this morning. Thank you. All right, I know you've had a lot of people asking about the sunflowers. How are they looking this year? Well, they're different than last year. Last year, they bloomed all at the same time, and this year we have kind of a rolling bloom. Uh, some are going to begin passing away and dying, and the others are going to start blooming. So it's not going to have that consistent bloom that we had last year. But they're beautiful uh, nonetheless. They're fantastic. Yeah, they're fantastic. And what have people uh, been saying, whether it was last year or this year, about when they come out here to the Pope Farm Conservancy and see such a sight? Well, the first thing is they have to figure out where the sunflowers are. You know, they've been shooting pictures of the soybean field thinking <laughs> that they're sunflowers. And uh, once they figure out where it is, uh, everything is fine. But we're kind of over the hill. And actually, we're fairly close to Black Hawk Road if people want to come out and park on that side of the conservancy. Over the next couple of days, that would be a smart thing to do. Now, what made this year such a different turnout? It was a lot of the weather changing. Well, the uh, weather did have an impact on the sunflowers. We had a tremendous amount of rain. We had a lot of clouds, uh, cool weather, and obviously that has different effects on different crops. It's farming. It's very, very different. So our corn is really good. The sunflowers and soybeans are, are a little slow compared to last year, but the prairies are absolutely fantastic. They're the best they've ever been. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people come out and take tons of pictures. They come out and picnic. But the big focus of Pope Farm Conservancy is really education. Tell us about what you guys are doing in that area. Well, it is. Education is an educational conservancy. It's really targeted toward grade school students. We have over 40 interpretive signs, and it's really designed 
uh, for kids and big kids like us to learn uh, as they, they walk around. Uh, we have many, many, many different features. We have over a thousand fourth graders coming out every year. And really that's the focus of the Conservancy. And next week you're having the annual tour again. Yes, we are. Wednesday at 6 o'clock, 6 to 7.30, we're going to try to cover all of these features in about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to go through the entire conservancy and look at the history, why it's here, why it's designed the way it is. And, uh, and you know, we're out here in the town of Middleton and come on out and enjoy it. Well, you have quite a lot of ground to cover, so put on your walking shoes, right? You got it. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, if you're interested in checking out that annual walking tour, it is a free tour next Wednesday, August 13th from 6 to 7.30 here at 7440 West Old Sock Road in Middleton. You can head to channel3000.com slash links to find more detailed description there. But Dina, if you're going to come out here to Pope Farm Conservancy, again, you'll want to strap on those walking shoes and bring your camera ready and make sure the battery is all full and ready to go. Oh, yeah, it looks like a great family event, so... Thanks a lot for telling us about it.